Hello friends, this is Basurai Benumli coming out with the uh, next video on identification of protein samples. This is the practical part. Identification of unknown protein sample. So I will uh, explain the chart, how to use the chart for uh, identification of unknown protein sample. <clears throat> So this is the chart uh, scheme for identification of unknown protein sample. So when you carry out uh, identification of unknown protein sample, uh, this is this will be the chart. So this is the sample unknown protein sample is given to you. So the first test which you have to carry out for uh, identifying whether the given sample is protein or not, you have to do biurate test. Biurate test. When you do biurate test, you will get two. Uh, chances or two options whether there will be violet color formation of violet color or uh, there will be no violet color in case of if it is there is no violet color when you take a sample when the sample is given to you you do the biorate test and if you are not getting any color then your sample is not a protein your sample is not a protein sample so protein is absent and confirmed that is the that's so there uh, there ends the matter. So you are not doing any other. So you are moving in this way. When your sample is not showing no violet color in biorate test, then only one test you are doing and your sample is not a protein. If your sample is protein, then you will get violet color that indicates that your sample is protein. Now, so next test, which protein it is? To know that you are doing isoelectric test. Second test which you are doing for... Uh, uh, knowing identifying the protein sample is isoelectric test. When you do isoelectric test for the protein sample or no protein sample, two chances are there. You may get Curdi precipitate or no Curdi precipitate. If you get Curdi precipitate, in case of isoelectric second test, when you carry out your sample, you are getting Curdi precipitate, then the sample in case of a sample casein may be present. In the inference column you are writing, casein may be present. If a uh, Curdi precipitate is there, isoelectric test, if you are getting Curdi precipitate, casein may be present. Then to confirm that casein is present, you are doing next test, that is test for organic phosphate. Test for organic phosphate. When you do a test for organic phosphate, you will get canary yellow color. That will be confirmative test for casein. So casein present and confirmed. So if your sample is casein, what all test you are doing? One test, first test is biorate. Second test, uh, violet color you are getting. Second test, you are doing isoelectric test. You are getting Curdi precipitate. Uh, inference, you are writing casein may be present. Third test, you are doing test for organic phosphate. That is confirmative test. That is uh, observation canary yellow color and inference is casein present. In case of isoelectric test, if you are not getting any Curdi precipitate, no Curdi precipitate, then your sample may be albumin, gelatin or pepton. In these three, any one may be present. So to confirm further, uh, to identify albumin, gelatin or pepton, you are doing next test, that is heat and acetic acid test. When you do heat and acetic acid test, uh, you... Uh, uh, Coagulation of sample may be there or no coagulation of the sample may be there. Coagulation of the sample indicates that albumin may be present. Heat and acetic acid test, coagulation, albumin may be present. In case if uh, no coagulation, then peptin or gelatin may be present. Two options are there, heat and acetic acid test, coagulation, albumin may be present. No coagulation, pepton or gelatin may be present. So, in, if you are getting coagulation, the sample is getting coagulated in case of heat and acetic acid test, albumin may be present. To confirm it, you are doing half saturation test and full saturation test. In half saturation test, you will get violet color, albumin is present and confirmed. And in full saturation test, no violet color. That also indicates albumin present and confirmed. So, if your sample is albumin, what all test you are doing? Biorate test, violet color, acyelectric test, no credit PPT, heat and acetic acid test, coagulation, then half, saturate, half saturation test, violet color, and uh, full saturation test, no violet color.
So this all test you will be doing. <clears throat> In case of heat and acetic acid test, no coagulation. Then your sample may be peptone or gelatin. So further, I want to confirm whether the sample is peptone or gelatin. Then I am carrying out uh, full saturation test. In case of full saturation test, you are doing uh, a full saturation test. You will get no violet color or violet color. If no violet color in full saturation test, your sample is gelatin may be present. And to confirm that gelatin is present, you are doing sulfur test. That is in case of sulfur test, if you are getting no black color or PPT, then gelatin is present. So a full saturation test, when you do full saturation test, no violet color, then you are doing uh, sulfur test, then <clears throat> no black color or uh, black color or no black color precipitate is formed, then it indicates your sample is gelatin. If you do full saturation, if you get violet color, then peptone is present. No violet color, gelatin. Then you are doing, for confirmation, you are doing sulfur, sulfur test. In that, no black color or precipitate, gelatin present. In case of full saturation, if you are getting violet color, peptone is present. Then to confirm that peptone is present and confirm, you are doing again sulfur test. That is, in this case, you are getting black color or black color precipitate that indicates peptone present and confirmed. So in case of uh, gelatin, what all test you will be doing? Biorate uh, bi test, violet color, isoelectric test, no cardiopipity, heat and acetic acid test, no coagulation, full saturation test, no uh, violet color, gelatin may be present, sulfur test, no black color or precipitate, gelatin present. In case of uh, uh, peptone, you are doing biorate test, violet color, isoelectric test, no cardiopipity, heat and acetic acid test, no coagulation, full saturation test, violet color, Sulfur test, black color or precipitate is present. That indicates your sample is peptone present and confirmed. So that's how you can use the chart for identification of protein sample. So what all tests you will be doing? You, when you get the sample, you don't know which sample it is. If your sample is there, if your sample is albumin, what all tests you have to do in that case? In that case, this will be the chart or uh, test, observation, and inference. In this form, it will be. So, biorate test, violet color, protein present, isoelectric test, no curdy PPT, albumin or gelatin or peptone may be present, heat and acetic acid test, observation will be coagulation, albumin may be present, half saturation test, violet color, albumin present, and full saturation test, no violet color, albumin present. And so, these all tests you have to do. This will be the Test, observation, and inference in case of if your sample is albumin. If your sample is gelatin, then these all tests will be there. You will be doing that is biorate test. In all the cases, biorate test will be present. Your sample is protein. Violet color will be there. Isoelectric test, no PPT For albumin, gelatin, or peptone sample is there, no PPT will be there. Heat and acetic acid test, no coagulation, gelatin. Only coagulation will be seen in case of albumin. No other sample will coagulate in case of heat and acetic acid test. So gelatin or peptone may be present to confirm it. Full saturation test, no violet color, gelatin may be present. Sulfur test, no black color or precipitate, gelatin present and confirmed. So this is this will be the test and observation inference in case of if your sample is gelatin. <clears throat> in case of peptone, biorate test. Violet color, same, protein present, isoelectric, no cardi precipitate. And heat and acid, no coagulation, all these three will be same in case of gelatin and peptone. And in case of full saturation, violet color, peptone may be present. So in case of the gelatin, it was no violet color, full saturation test. But in case of peptone, full saturation test, there will be violet color, peptone may be present, sulfur test. If you do, you will get black color or precipitate, black color precipitate, then peptone present. and can. So this will be the chart of observe, test, observation and inference for if your sample is peptone. In case of casein, only these three tests you will be carrying out. Biore test, violet color, protein present, isoelectric test, curdy precipitate. Curdy precipitate is not seen in, in, in case of albumin, gelatin or peptone. Only in case of casein, you are getting curdy precipitate. If you get curdy precipitate, that indicates that your sample is casein. So casein may be present. Further, to confirm it, we are doing one more test. That is Test for organic phosphate 
canary yellow color is in present and confirm so this is how you can use the chart for identification of unknown protein samples in case of practicals so either it may be albumin gelatin or peptone or casein this is how you can use the chart and identify the sample and uh, <clears throat> that's the information for how to use the chart of identification of unknown sample of proteins thank you thank you for watching my channel subscribe my channel for pharmacy solutions